BHP believes very much in our social value, benefit to the regions we work in. So we, we have many programs that invest in the regional area uh, and this is just one of them. The Bowen Basin Bright Minds Partnership is running between BMA and 18 schools in central Queensland. Altogether we have nearly 4,500 primary school students and over 2,500 high school students involved. This partnership is gold for our kids because our kids have access to probably the most highly skilled workforce in the world at our doorstep, ready to work with us and some of the most innovative ways of working and operating in the STEM space. Their skills our kids need and they're right there in Moranbar with us or in the Bowen Basin with us. I think it is exceedingly important as technology is driving society, particularly in a regional area like the Bowen Basin. A lot of these children or students don't have the opportunity to even be exposed to some of the different career paths they have. So it just wasn't an option for them and now it is. And that's so important that these students can ex expand their horizons and actually see other options for their future. Project DIG has been a project where we have worked with the Queensland Museum. There's so many great fossil opportunities around Alligator Creek and Serena. It was just a great opportunity to showcase what we're doing here at Alligator Creek, but also share what we're going to do next with the Bright Minds project and that DIG project. This partnership is really bringing us into line with working with the industry, um, working with BMA on a personal level. So we know what they want in the future in their employees. We know the employability skills that they need. What does that look like in their career progression? Is it auto electrician or technicians? Is it, this is what engineering is? We're not just teaching it with no focus. There's a really straight line to where they can head to. Developing opportunities for students to learn those soft skills, those employment skills that aren't necessarily embedded in curriculum. Things like leadership and time management and all those different really life skills that they need out in the workforce. Jobs are changing and, and these skills that they're going to pick up are going to help prepare them to be job ready when they're actually ready to come into the workforce. Education hasn't changed much but industry is changing rapidly and being able to have that professional development and seeing what industry is really doing and what's happening there is really beneficial to teachers. I believe the best thing about the Bright Minds is getting students to do something they've never done before. Human powered vehicles, we've got the, the drones, the 3D printers, they don't have an opportunity to use those at home and it's also going to give them the skills that they need to then work into the future as well. They're having to learn to think for themselves a lot more. For our students, the future is creativity, is thinking outside the box, is coming up with new ideas. We don't know where our students are going to end up. These jobs haven't even been thought of yet. Um, and that really excites me, to see where our world can go and what change it's going to bring um, and what those students are going to be able to do with the tools that we give them now. By having increased facilities up here in the high school, we are able to expose students to a variety of career paths, allowing them to make a better decision for their future. The students have really engaged with the equipment that we've bought. We've had an uplift in achievement through our science and maths with our data. The general engagement throughout the day with the equipment is used regularly and, and it's always readily available. The reality is if we want our kids to be able to leave school and enter a workforce in a in a career of their choice, they need to have a range of skills and technology is a massive part of that. For me it's about getting them prepared, job ready and then making our regions more sustainable as well and, and having our young, young people skilled up, wanting to stay in the region and be a big part of our future. We need to make sure we're connecting with the real world ourselves. This is what the real world is looking like outside of our classroom and exposing our students to that. Everything in life, things are changing and we need to make sure kids are adapting to change.